Hello everyone, for this month's Messy I'm going to be showing you how to bake soft pretzels. Now some of you will be aware of the little crispy ones that you get in the supermarkets. Those of you that don't know what they are, they're a shaped pastry made of dough and I've got a picture of one here. The first thing to do is to pour your lukewarm water into your basin. Then you add the yeast and stir it in. Leave it for a few seconds till it begins to froth up on the surface. You might want to use a fork just to beat in the um, yeast. And then you add the salt and the sugar and it goes together. A cup at a time, tablespoons at a time, the flour. From this point on, it's getting quite sticky now. The flour from the flour a little bit at a time. And the dough is ready to knead when you poke your finger in and it bounces back. It doesn't stick to your finger. Then you can take it out of the bowl and start to knead it on the table. Put the dough out onto a floured surface and knead it for about three minutes. You may need to put some extra flour on as the flour is absorbed into the dough. Just knead it with your knuckles and be as rough as you like with it. Then we can leave our dough to sit for 10 minutes. You might want to just cover a clean cloth to whilst we prepare the coatings that we're going to use. So I'm cutting my ball, putting one half to one side. Then I'm going to cut this in them because I want this half of the mixture to make six. I'm going to cut these into thirds. So it might be easier to roughly equal parts. Then I'm going to take one of the balls and I'm going to gently roll it out. I'm going to need to reach about half a metre, three centimetres. Trying not to use on the surface that it doesn't dry out. To form the pretzel shape, bring the two ends together to form a loop, cross them over at the top, leaving a nice long end to twist and then bring back down the circle to the bottom and then add a little bit of water to stick them together. Grease taking trays with butter ready to put your pretzels onto. Right, I'm going to do two of each of the coat. Brush these in egg, that will go nice and good. Then the second two, I'm just going to way through the cooking, I'm going to add some cinnamon sugar. The last process is to dip two of the bagels in the boiling baking soda. So I'm going to drop this in, leave it in for 30 seconds and then I'm going to take it out again. Once it's been in the boiling water you need to just shake the excess moisture off and then pop it onto the baking sheet leaving room for the pretzels to swell. Right I've got those in I'm going to stop and have a coffee. So we, here we have our three different styles of pretzel. 